Mmm, delicious. But, um, so what I'm going to do is put this back on, turn the car on, put it in gear, see if this moves with the tail shaft. If it doesn't, I know it's this thing in here. The low range shift mechanism. That burrito was good, but here is a, here's a shaft all put in place. And this clutch goes over the planetary gear. And if you start it up and it moves, and this moves, you'll know that it is something with the low range shifting mechanism. But if none of this moves, it's probably a bad chain. And if this moves and this doesn't, it's probably your chain as well. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so the gears inside the uh, tail shaft are, are spinning and working fine. So I'm guessing it's this now. I'm going to go ahead and do some quick research and I'll be back with you shortly. I'm thinking about reusing this. We'll see. The, uh, oh. The, um, Quadratrack engaging vacuum doomicky thing, whatever you call it. We'll see. Okay, so I did a little research. This right here is called a shift collar, and it was in the right position, so if you were to put this back in, the gear part goes in first, and this little ridge right here goes where that shifting mechanism is. So like you slide this in place, something like that, you move this, until like, just move it around so like it falls into place, and, you know, something like that. Also, be sure this little shifting mechanism for your low range is on, is inside this little groove on this gear here. Okay, so I know I know it seems dark out, but it's not. So here you have your collar plate, and be sure that is inside the planetarium gear all the way. Because if that's not on all the way, your uh, the rest of your gears will not go on right. And then the uh, that clutch plate looking thing goes over the planetarium gear. And then the sprocket goes on over that. And this right here needs to be all the way in. Be sure you don't lose these bearings right here. You got that one, and you got the one in between these two gears here. And this third and final gear goes on last. Alright, got it rolling. Turned it on, put it in reverse. Sure enough, start, the wheel started moving. Put it in drive, start going the other way. All the gears are working good. But... I still got this washer and lock ring right here. The lock, w the washer, uh oh. Come on, annoying piece of shit. All right. The washer goes on here, goes on first, and then the little lock pin goes on after, and there's a little ridge inside the shaft here that you lock the pin on. But, I push the shaft in a bunch, and what makes no sense to me is that I push it in all the way, it works, but I can't put the uh, lock pin on, and I 
put and I pull it out to put the lock pin on and it won't the tail shaft won't reach the transmission therefore won't work so it just makes no sense to me I think the lock ring is supposed to go on the inside but I'm not sure I'm going to, have to do research but so far this thing is working good and I don't know if that lock pin is too important I think it just holds the shaft in place but I don't know we'll see so glad I got it working and I hope this helps you guys so this about concludes it um subscribe and thanks for watching